Before we get into this episode, we want to remind you that we've still got some tickets left for our tour in May. We shall be starting in Belfast, making our way around the country, ending up in London for some very lovely shows. So make sure you go to theuselesshotline.com or just click the link in the description to get some tickets. And keep your eye out for some special guest announcements for the London shows. Ooh. Hello, I'm Max Belegde. And I'm George Clark. <laughs> and welcome to the Useless Hotline. TikTok wasn't working out for us. We decided to set up our own little business. We did. And the Useless Hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, disgusting, or embarrassing they are. But it own hey, hey, oh. hey. Sorry, uh, my inner seal just came out. Oh. But it won't always just be us. Some weeks we'll be joined by a very special guest. <gasps> Maybe a special guest residing on one of our lips. <laughs> Right, okay. <laughs> I've got a cold sore. I can see Callum zooming in. Stop zooming in. I've got a cold sore on my lip, and I've got a little sticker to put over the cold sore, and it actually just points out the cold sore even more. Anything else you, that rhymes I, with that? <laughs> how do you get a cold sore on your lip? From sucking dick and cock. Nice. No, no um, I... Literally, oh my God, can I tell you this full story? I don't know if I want to hear the full story. No, you do. So, um, about what? How old are you? How how long 24. ago was it when I was 19? Six years ago? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's wrong with That's that? That's such a funny way to phrase it, <laughs> as opposed to just when I was 19. <laughs> yeah, true. Okay. I'd like to give you the exact number of years it was since the event. Well, when I was 19, yeah. I went on holiday with my friend Leah. And weirdly, this is the weirdest holiday I've ever been on, by the way. We were both depressed at our respective unis. I was at Bristol, she was at Newcastle. Right. And um, we FaceTimed each other, literally in tears about how much we hated our lives. Yeah. And um, she had this jumper on that said the word Antwerp. And we were like, that's such a funny word. Like, what does that mean? Googled it. Your it's a place. Idiot. So then we booked a holiday to Antwerp. <laughs> what a stupid, goofy word. <laughs> Literally, though, we were like, that's such a funny word, Ant- Antwerp. Booked a holiday there. Being the dumb fucks that we were, we booked a holiday, five-day holiday from Monday to Friday because we were like, it's so much cheaper to go Monday to Friday. Like, why <laughs> is that? <laughs> yeah, wonder why. Arrived on the day, um, like the day before that we were supposed to be going to Antwerp. Yeah. What's that noise? Oh, day before we were going to Antwerp, I woke up. And I think about a week prior, I'd like got with this boy from like the local town. Like, Fit. explain that story. Yeah, ba- boners and everything. Oh, um, and <laughs> he must have had like a cold sore yeah. on his lip. And you've had it since then. I've had it since that. No, <laughs> no, and I'm not even joking, George. I woke up, and all of my lips were like crusted together with like sores. It was the most, vi- I was in tears. I think, I was thinking I've got some sort of like- I've got no lips. Literally like what is happening to me? I had like four cold sores on my lips, go to the doctors and they're literally like, you have got this like from someone, but I don't understand how this has happened. Like your immune system must have been really low. And as a result of that, like yeah. four cold sores have appeared <clears throat> on your lips. I never had them before. They gave me this medication that was like these really strong antiviral drugs that like fuck you up. But I still went to Antwerp. I couldn't even smile. I was literally like the entire trip. I was like this. Um, and then was having all this medication. It was ruining my insides to the point where I couldn't eat on this trip. There was nothing happening on this trip because we were Monday to Friday in a random fucking town this in is Belgium. So much more in depth of a story than I was expecting. Um, but basically, I ended up passing out on the trip, um, yes. like in the street, because of the medication. Rang my doctor and they were like, just stop taking it then. They'll go away by themselves. Just like get over it. Um, and came back from the trip. On that trip, actually, was the World Cup, England v Belgium. No way. And um, we supported Belgium because we were in Belgium and we didn't want to wear England flags and everyone made fun of us. Um, came back, the cold sores went away and I'd never had <laughs> that the... That is such an unnecessary bit of information. <laughs> and I'd never had cold sores again until this week. So when long appeared... story short, he's got a cold sore on his lip. It'll yes. Um, I was trying to say and I'm really insecure about it so I don't like it when people point it out. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna look at the camera like oh, this. Oh, you are transferring cold sore to whoever uses that mic next. Oh my god! Don't say that. No, I've got. A, I've got a plaster on it. Stop looking at it. Ugh. 
Anyway, so yeah, I've got a cold sore on my lip. Max bad lip day. Literally, that's what I'm having right now. <laughs> and the Brit Awards are this weekend. I'm going to have a bad lip day. Oh. I'm having a bad lip week. So I put I bought lipstick this weekend yeah. to put over the plaster. And it actually worked. I wish that I could show you because it just looked like my normal lip. With a the little bit of plaster hanging over the top because so surely no, it goes over your no lip. so i trimmed the plaster I'm, oh. I'm an expert at this by now because my nice. friend came to same friend who i went to antwerp with no came to visit me this weekend so when cold sores <gasps> she in, is the curse she's when she's in town so the cold sores it's because i keep eating her out that is so unnecessary. What the hell? Oh, I don't want to be here anymore. Right. I've decided I'm drinking this episode. Number one, I've just finished my course of antiviral drugs for this for this bad boy on my lip. And I am now able to drink. Number two, I've not driven here today. Nice. I usually drive to the podcast now. But instead, I am drinking, baby! I might join you. Yeah, come on. Oh, shit. I filled this up a bit much. For the audio <laughs> listeners, I filled up my cup a bit much. You li- you literally said, oh, I filled this up a bit much. Yeah, but they might not. They might think I'm on about you. <sighs> this is actually really tasty. Oh, I don't know if it is. Oh, no, it is. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to speak this episode. <laughs> right, sorry. What's going on with you, George? Um, well... The lips are cold soreless. Isn't it mad that I could just give you a kiss and you would have cold sores for the rest of your life? <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times that Max has just said, wouldn't it be crazy <laughs> if I just like kissed you right now? How crazy would that be? Would it be crazy? <laughs> would you be annoyed? I said to Andrew, because Andrew obviously doesn't have cold sores. Um, I act like I have cold sores all the time. This is the first time I've had it in six years. Um, Can we, in the thumbnail for this episode, have Max's oh face on one side, mine on the other, and a massive cold sore? Oh my in the god, mid- no! <laughs> oh, I hate that this cold sore has become such a topic of conversation. Um, but I said to Andrew, I was like, "What would you do if, like, in your sleep, I just like took my plaster off and kissed you, and gave you cold sores for the rest of your life?" And he was like, "I would break up with you." And I was like, "But would you though? Think about it. Would you, what would what would he do if?" Next week, mm. on next week's episode, I had a cold sore on my lip. <laughs> <laughs> I think he would. He'd be like, can I get one next? <laughs> I think he would be highly suspicious. Oh, nice, enjoyable pink hooch. Mm. Um, Maxine. Yeah? This brings us on to uh, a segment Does in it? the show. <laughs> cool. It doesn't really bring us on to anything. Um, but it's a little segment in the show called... What happened on the internet this week? This week! I was going along the lines of, you know, Harry Hill's TV burp. Did yes. you ever used to watch that? Yes, I did. This week's Apprentice in a Nutshell. I don't remember that. Do you not remember that bit? No. And then it would just be like a line from The oh, Apprentice. Oh, from The Apprentice. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't remember that. But <laughs> Harold Hill. Yeah. <clears throat> did you ever used to... That was a big moment in our house watching that every night. Not every night, every Saturday. You give me such Harry Hill's TV burp. That sounds like an innuendo. (laughs) Ooh, I'm feeling a bit Harry on TV burp. You do, you just do. I can't explain it. uh, Guys, agree with me in the comments. Bush push was Harry Hill. Bush push. Oh, maybe that's kind of. And then yeah, somebody. I think it was on like Coronation Street or like Emmerdale or some shit. Someone got pushed into a bush. And then he just went, bush, bush. And then everybody around school started pushing people in bushes. I remember and Slapper then Ginger Verge Man. Emerge afterwards. Where somebody verge just, Emerge. Somebody looks like they just popped out of a verge. <laughs> I do not remember this. Great guy, though, Harry Hill. Hope yeah. He's, hope he's still burping away. Um, do you remember Slapper Ginger Day? I don't think we celebrated that at my school. Well, we did, and it was awful. I used to fear for my friends who were ginger. Why would you give a shit? They're just getting slapped. Everybody, I remember it so vividly. Someone posted on Facebook, like, this Friday is going to be slap a ginger day at school. Yeah. And the school, like, intervened. But even still, all the gingers were getting slapped. Well, just put, like, a member of staff on each ginger. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> just to, oh, like, like, to protect as, like, security. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I don't really... I think they just did a... But then what they did was they did an assembly on it 
and was like, we've seen Don't this. Don't do that, bring all the gingers to one place. Easy pickings. Well, <laughs> no. But then everyone was obviously looking at the one ginger person in the class, like, how do you feel about this? It's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh, God. The bloody, the plaster was started flapping as it oh, came out. The burp came out then. Don't, Harry Hill's TB burp. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. But yeah, slap a ginger day. Wild times. Did you ever, have you ever thought about the fact that um, this is going to sound bad? Okay. Performing oh an act of... Violence? Let's call it uh, an act of concentrated violence uh, to a large number of people would be... Like mass murder. So easy in a school. Oh. What? No, as in... As in have you never, have you never thought... Have you never, right. No, have you never thought about... How somebody, no. some no somebody somebody <laughs> could, no could, no, no when, I've not what, thought no, about shooting up a no, school no, George no when we were at have sc- you no when we were at school I remember we were like somebody said to me they were like I'm gonna do it no they went uh, no they said they said <laughs> they said uh, don't you think it's kind of crazy that if somebody did want access to all the students all they got to do is pull the fire about fire uh, alarm then every single person in the school comes to one location. And then they've just got easy pickings. Yeah, but no, but that is great. That's that seems like a bad. Yeah, but you could think about that about anything. Like, oh, if I wanted to kill everyone in this building, I'd just go free ice cream outside, that and I'd poison work. them all. That doesn't work as well as a fire alarm. All right, I'd pull if the you, fire if, alarm if you and to, give free ice cream. If you wanted to kill the obese population of Britain, maybe that's the way that you do it. How dare you? I love ice cream. <laughs> exactly. There you go. <laughs> My sample size of one has worked. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Um, but no, that um, also there was a, uh, a, a another report would be that it, it it's so easy. <laughs> it's so <laughs> <laughs> it's, I was going to say it's so easy for people to access schools. What are you the, fucking no, nonce? No, what is wrong with I'm you? Saying, you no, mass murdering nonce. As, what is happening? As, as a point. Nobody tell him where the fire alarm is. <laughs> Seriously. As, as a point to say, it's it needs to be worked on. Because I, when I was at school, a man came in and started stripping to us. There was a man. Is who, this where your little kinks come from then? No. There was a man that entered our school at lunchtime. Um. Yeah. Yeah, you and told this story yeah. on the pod. Yeah, have I told you this Yeah, before? you've told me this. Yeah. He just stripped off. You described it Don't as like it religious then. dress. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. He was he was dressed in some sort of religious clothing. Yeah. He came into the school at lunchtime. I don't, still don't know what that means. And, and every... I'm, bitch, I'm picturing the pop. <laughs> 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 yeah, no. And, uh, yeah, all the, everyone was walking around. It was like a, a place of large uh, footfall. There was a lot of kids around at this point in time. It People was lunchtime. were in religious dress in a place of large footfall. Yeah, and that this man had clearly calculated something here. And he then just started taking his clothes off. And we were all just stood there, like all the kids were just sort of like, "What happens? That we haven't been briefed for this. Do we go to the fire ex- the fire point? Like what did you do? fire assembly point? Oh, we just started joining in. No, we <laughs> uh, we uh, all just sort of stood and watched because you wouldn't. It's not something you run from, is it? You you oh, you run too. In, I you're, run no, too. You're, <laughs> you're 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 interested to see what occurs. Yeah. And what did occur uh, is he just left his socks on. Naked, uh, yeah. The rest of it was. No, <laughs> that was what was crazy. He, he didn't take anything his... off, and he had his socks on. <laughs> he came. He just... took everything off. Everything but his off. Socks. Yeah. So there was just this naked guy in front of you all. Yeah, and then um, a few teachers came out of the staff room, um, and and said, "Whoa, yeah. what horny business is happening here?" Yeah, they they pe- peered around the door like, mm. "You can't look in here." <laughs> and they um they they were just like, "What the f- what's going on?" And then one of the mm. rugby teachers went over and just rugby tackled the bloke. Um, that, that was that. That was the last we saw of him. Oh, fully God. engulfed by the rugby teacher. I knew. Do you remember in primary school when you have to get changed in front of your fellow classmates? What? That's for that, PE. Okay, yeah. Yes. That's like, <laughs> no. just, just like a little maths thing. Just come on, Max, out the front of the class. No, like you all get changed in the classroom, don't you? Like there's no like boys go here, girls go here because you're all like prepubescent little beings. Who cares what yeah. your little genitalia look like? No yeah. one gives one. Um, don't know why I'd say little genitalia and do the sand gesture. Anyway, um, there was this boy in my class. Nice. And um, he 
I remember I remember it so vividly because we were all so Bit horrified. Weird. He um was like <laughs> getting like we're all getting dressed and this girl who I was friends with just screamed and she was like, Ah, miss, he's got his winky out because he'd just like taken his underwear off as well. Yeah. And then the teacher was like, like, whoa, said student, why why have you done this? And then he was like, My mum has he was he burst into tears and was like, My mum has said I'm not allowed undies anymore. Like she wouldn't let him wear underwear because he kept weeing in them. So her form of the, punishment was you're no longer allowed to wear these until you stop pissing in them. What so He's just going commando yeah. to just piss his trousers. What's yeah. the how how's weird that was a solution? That? How weird was that? And then on the spot, as this is happening, he starts pissing. Well, yeah. proofs in the pudding then. And now, yes. and now, oh my god, and get this: the last time I went home, my mum told me he is now our mailman Damn. for our um, house. He delivers our mail, and I've seen his pissing little widge. <laughs> a widge. Widge, little widger. What's a widge? Little tiny widger. I'd it's say a like fun a... game. Oh god, <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure it's not going to be fun. It's no. Yeah. It's not going to get us demonetized. I'm sure. All the fun names for a penis. Yeah, that's going to get us demonetized. <laughs> right, fun names for a penis that aren't demonetizable. Yeah. Okay. Widge, widge. I just, no, I don't know if I would take widge. Todger. Todger's a good one. If I said, George, your little widge is hanging out, you'd know exactly what I meant. Yeah, but that's... Yeah, see, which counts. Okay. Um, Todger, Roger. If you Roger. say, if you're little and then insert any word is hanging out, then you'll... Is your little keyboard hanging out? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know what I meant there? No. Do you think it was winking? Take though? which, take the which, George. Said oh, it, said it once, I... I'll say it again. <laughs> now you've put it in a scenario yeah. where I can understand it. Um, <laughs> which, Todger, Roger. You. These are very similar, though. How is which and Roger and Todger similar? They've They've all got the same vibe to them. Right, c- fucking come on then. All right, uh, come on, mastermind of which? Winky and Willie are all good ones. Right, well then they're, they're mine. <laughs> all right then, I'll name the vagina ones. You can have the <laughs> Willie ones. No, Winky <laughs> is mine. I say Winky. <laughs> is that how you came out? <laughs> <laughs> I say Winky. <laughs> oh, I got um, something to tell you, mum. Winky. winky is mine. <laughs> <laughs> right um winky um flopper no yeah no flopper <laughs> max your little flopper's hanging chopper. out that's for chopper. me it's a chopper for you it's a flopper <laughs> mine's defo a chopper yours yeah, is a witch because we're talking about winkies right now of course yours is a chopper right um <sighs> member um, member nice member. phallus is a good one. Oh god that sounds a bit Sounds a bit scientific. Uh, sausage. Sausage. Meat sword. Pork sword. That's a good one, yeah. Um, Meat pe- sabre. Purple-headed w- womb poker. <laughs> <laughs> Purple-headed womb warrior. What? Purple-headed womb poker. Um, um. <laughs> I think that was too far. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i think that's about it yeah what about vagina no boobs are more fun though <laughs> what do you want to know the worst one that i ever heard for a vagina i heard it at a festival when i was in like year 12 someone called it oh, it makes me feel so sad a, a punched lasagna like someone's got a lasagna and just punched it yeah i got that from the punched lasagna i just think that's so awful it's also more of a cannelloni. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. No, oh, go on. What? Cheese omelette. Axe wound. Oh, axe wound, axe yeah. wound's not a good one. No, it's Can we not. do boobs instead? Right, go on. Oh, God, what, is this really what we've come to? Yeah, this is this is mummy milkers. All oh, right, okay. I, no, let's let's do let's let's play this a gentleman's game. Um, Max to serve. Alternative names for the breast. Okay, try not to laugh. Okay. Remember, it's the gentleman's game. It's okay. just back and forth. Gentleman's game. As you do with most of your gentleman's games. Alternative words for breasts. Titties. Mammary glands. Oh. Lady udders.
<laughs> right. Oh god. Ballistic missiles. <laughs> Fleshy mounds. Cans. Buns. That can. Spaff targets. Oh my god. Oh. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I didn't like that one bit. Come gutters. <laughs> no, I take it back. I don't want this. I don't want this anymore. I don't want to play this game. We'll go to the officials. Uh, they said cum gutter seems more vaginal. You've got one oh, strike. Does it? No, I, on, oh, I don't want to say the word cum gutter on the internet. I, right, this is not an official tournament, Callum. This is very much unofficial. Right, I don't like this. I don't like saying the word. No, carry on. Cum gutter on the internet. No I know, I d no one forced me to say it, but I did say it, right. The what? The obvious one. Baps. 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 Good one. We'll take. We'll take baps. I'll text it to you. Jugs. Oh, jugs. Was that the, what you were going to say, Callum? Jugs. I've said jugs. You're up. How on earth have we? Max, the ball's in your court, man. Yeah, I know. I'm waiting for Callum to send it to me. I've never heard this. <laughs> Breasticles. Oh, I was going. I was going there. Do you um, not find testicles just so bizarre? Do your testicles... Oh, bit of a personal question. Do your testicles, like, move if you look at them? <laughs> <laughs> what? what like, if you look at the thing, I see mine moving. Like someone's living inside of them. <laughs> I'm not even what? joking. If you just look at them... Yeah, like, they move. Maybe I'm Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, take a look. All right, <laughs> <laughs> but look at your own at some point. I've, I can assure you, I they have do, looked at my own do they testicles. Not move? They, no. What, like what if position you look down are you in? Like, are you? Are you what, <laughs> what position are you in when you're looking at them? I can't remember the last time like, I are looked you at them. Spread across, and they're just dangling pendulous. I'm led on a mirror. <laughs> Just looking down. No, I've. I swear to God, they. Wait, shall I Google it? I'm what if it says I've got a parasite living just in my? Just straddling a generator. <laughs> I just assumed. Wait. Do your. Oh. Oh, I thought someone came in then. Do your testicles move? <laughs> With the testicle police. In most boys. Oh my God. <laughs> You've just been scared by an image. No. <laughs> testicles can move in and out of the scrotum. Oh, yeah, no, that's a problem. Oh, like up and down. Yeah, also they oh. can twist. Oh, that happened to me. I told you that. I went to hospital. Have I never told you that? Yeah, but we're not on about that part yet. Oh, it's, okay. It's the moving. The moving, okay. Do t <laughs> Is it normal to feel your balls move? Not feel them, to see them. <laughs> yeah, to watch them move. Right? Are, your, is your, are your balls just an optical illusion? Maybe your balls move. Can you watch your balls move? Your testicles themselves should not be moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, guys. What? I don't know what the. Have you got is mics? Is it normal to see your. It's not. There's not anything on the internet. If <laughs> <laughs> you got rats. I swear something? to God, I'm going to get Andrew to look at them and see I'm not crazy. I swear to God, they move. I swear they Have you got a poltergeist living in your sack? I hope not. Jesus Christ. Right, anyway, should we move on? Yeah, what have um, we got to talk okay. about? Okay, things that have happened in my side of the internet this week. Wendy Williams, do you know who she is? Um, no. I is cannot... she the person that made the internet? Yeah, basically. WW with her mate. Is her middle name Willow? Oh, are you on about www? I thought you meant because she's so iconic, she like made the internet. And I genuinely was oh, like, that's yeah. what I meant. Yeah, she's. Oh my god, is that that iconic queen that made the internet? Yeah, she literally made the internet. When I tell you, have you ever heard? Oh, so many. Right, 
basically, Wendy Williams is one of my favorite talk show hosts of all time, if not my favorite talk show host of all time. I used is to it wake weird up, that I've not heard of her? How? She has the biggest tits in the world. Oh, I might have heard of her. She always says, I'm shaped like the letter P. Oh. Let me show you her. You must have seen her or heard of her. Uh, oh, no, I've seen... There's so many memes of her. I've seen like her. a meme about There's her, There's so yeah. many memes of her. Show the camera. Wendy Williams. Okay, so basically... I saw a meme about Yes, yeah. she's been diagnosed with dementia. Oh. Which is literally... Who? The biggest loss... Look at her, she's so wild. Awful. The right. biggest... Why, what? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Did you really just make a dementia <laughs> joke? Oh, I hate you so much. Look at her. Look at her. She's also objectively an awful person. Just putting that out there. Like I, th she, I thought I'd seen some controversial. Yeah. She, oh, she does a lot of controversial things. Like yeah. she would just like pry into celebrities' lives, like yeah. beyond words. But then she became the 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 like hot gossip because she had loads of stuff happen in her personal life. Mm. Then her show got taken away from her, and then she she was a coke addict, like loads of crazy stuff. But now she's been diagnosed with dementia, and I'm just so sad because I just think that she is one of the most iconic people ever. Maybe um, she'll, she'll she might forget that she's addicted to coke. Maybe she might actually do that. Can is that? No, you can't do that. Okay, might get worse. Know. She might just forgot that she's already had some that day. Oh shit! <laughs> oh god! Oh, oh bless her. I love her. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Wendy Williams has dementia. Oh. Um, very sad for the news, for the, for the world. In other news, Olivia Rodrigo has sorted, so started a tour. And um, <laughs> no, this is really important. Why Olivia did you tee up with the dementia? I don't know. It's just first on my list. <laughs> I don't want to leave it out. All right. In other news, Olivia Rodrigo has started a tour and mm -hmm. I have a personal bone to pick with you. Me? Over it. Because I can't go to her show because we are on tour why is that my fault i don't know it's not your fault get her to reschedule i should do but i just wanted to bring that up when her, her show her well, show her london show i assume yeah how i think many it's london... the same day as our how london many london show. shows she's got i don't know i should have a look it's either way i didn't get tickets it'd be embarrassing if it's only one <laughs> it might be only one london 2024 olivia rodrigo let's see Oh my god, why don't I try to just go to one of her shows? Like her this is thrilling news. Yeah, sorry. Oh, she's got four London shows. Yeah. Oh, we're on tour the entire time. And they're all tomorrow. What? what, what when are they? The her first one is the 14th. The last one is the 18th when we're in London. Wait, but our last London show, could I not go to the Friday? <laughs> I was going to say, there's days in between that we yeah. aren't doing a tour. But I, can't, but I don't have tickets, so I can't really do. But yeah, but you, you can... You, you can get me a ticket. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. For the Friday one? I don't know what day. It's we'll see then. We'll see. Yeah, ask her what t what day it is. OMFG. I might be going to see it. In other news, I might be going to see Olivia Rodrigo. That is iconic. That's crazy. That I is crazy. I love almost all of her songs. My fa my favourite one's the... Uh, that... What's the one? Goddamn Vampire. Yeah, that one. That's my favourite one. I knew that you'd know that one. Um, in other news, other other news, I am starting my YouTube channel officially. How uh, that was that was on my one. Really? No. Oh. No, it actually wasn't mine. <laughs> really? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are so <laughs> easy. <laughs> oh. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate you. <laughs> God's sake. No, I, it's actually, no, I, look, it actually is it is actually? Online. No. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I see his little back doing George, YouTube. Oh my God, it actually is. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, so I'm starting YouTube. So you have a supportive friend. Yeah, thank you. I'm starting YouTube. I have um, made a little set. You can't see it on this camera, but it's over yeah. there. Um, to be TBC coming soon, and Literally I'm very excited. Not what TBC means. <laughs> to be soon. To be continued. To be confirmed. To be confirmed. Is yeah. it to be continued? <laughs> to be confirmed. <laughs> Is it not to be continued? To be confirmed. 
To be confirmed. Oh, first. Um, <laughs> very exciting now. Coming soon, TBC. <laughs> TBC. No, I don't know what I'm saying. Um, but I'm also, very excited. To be continued doesn't work. Okay. Either. I'm not clever. <laughs> I get it. God, he loves to put me down, everyone. Um, but I'm very excited. Nice, man. What's the first vid? Um, so I want to do a series of reaction videos mm -hmm. just to, because I really enjoyed doing those yeah. when I used to do them. And um, I kind of want to, my goal this time with YouTube, my goal last time with YouTube was to just make videos for the sake of making videos. I didn't really like care. Yeah. Um, and I was just like kind of doing it. And then I got overwhelmed and then I stopped for a year. <laughs> um, woo. Um, whereas my goal now is to find my people. Oh. Find my people on the internet. I feel like when I started TikTok, I found such a tribe of like people that I like the same things as them. Yeah. But I never did that on YouTube. So I want to try to do it on YouTube. So my first video is reacting to the old Kardashians. Nice. Like the show when they first made it. Because obviously we know the Kardashians. Everyone knows the Kardashians. Everyone these, knows them, yeah. Everyone knows them. And they're these huge like business moguls. But I was watching the, the old show, like the very first seasons the other day. Yeah. And it is mental. Like when I tell you drugs, sex, rock and roll, babies, pregnancies, arrests. Speaking it's crazy. Of, Tickets to the Useless Hotline Tour <laughs> are still out. They are. So uh, if mm. you require that, then do it. Also, carry on, actually. Oh, okay. That's it. All right. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> but yeah, very exciting. So check out that I soon. Can't wait. Maybe. Speaking Woo. of YouTube, oh. I've got a talent show that's uh, hey. currently going on underway. Uh, you'll have two or three days after this comes out to submit to hashtag George Clarkey Talent Show. That's Clarkey with one E. Mm. George Clarkey Talent Show. Post a video on TikTok. You know, it might be in the chance of winning £1,000. I literally looked at it. So George posted this yesterday, the day before? Yesterday. Yesterday. And um, I just clicked on the hashtag and I sent you a voice note because I was dying at this. Yeah. This one person that opened a can with their teeth but didn't just open it the normal way. They chewed the can <laughs> off. Like the top of the can. They, they gnawed it off. And um, I just thought that was brilliant. So kudos so you to you. got that to look forward to in the video, yes, guys. Yes, indeed. Um, but yeah, on that, tour tickets. Yep. I met people, so I was just filming something before this. And um, a few people came up to me saying that they're coming to the tour in London. Woo! Yes. And then a few people said that they're still waiting to get tickets because they're waiting for like the student loan to drop or something. Um, but just as an update for you all in terms of tickets, I believe, wait, should we actually get an official update? For, to read it because we've never actually done that for a while. Unfortunately, if you are from Glasgow, Manchester, Birmingham, or Bristol, tickets are sold out. Right, okay. Votes may be counted, <laughs> won't be counted, but you may still be charged. <laughs> and then we've got Belfast, uh, but shows that still have tickets are our first show in Belfast, which is on the 6th of May. They're uh, literally like. Yeah, 2024. There are like um, 20 <laughs> tickets left for that. Um, and then <clears throat> Dublin, our next show on the 7th. There are, again, like 20 tickets left for that. And then we've got a bunch of sold out shows until we head to London. Our first London show Whoa. is inches from being sold out. And as we said in the last episode, look out for some secret guests that may be announced for the London shows as they are our biggest shows. Um, and then, yeah, we go right through to um, Birmingham that's sold out. Leeds has Please. a few tickets left. And then Bristol is sold out. And then our last show, we are ending it with a bang in London. And there are right still some stage. tickets left with that. We're going to bang on the stage. <laughs> We're banging all night long, baby. So if you want a ticket to that, then <laughs> keep your... Keep your Trousers drawers on. on. Oh. I don't know what I'm saying. Keep your... Buy them. Yeah. Well, that's what you're going to do if you want a ticket. But we're um, very much in like the closing stage leading up to the tour um, where we're finalizing everything. And I just want you to know it's looking very exciting. If you're a fan of the Useless Hotline, this is the place for you. And, and if you're not. And if you're not, just come along anyway and throw things at us. If you hate us, maybe. Uh, please don't do that, actually. That would be really horrible. Uh, but yeah, comment down below who you would want to see at the tour, um, at the London shows, maybe, and we'll see what we can do. But we've got some plans, haven't we, George? We do. Tickets to uselesshotline.com or through the link in our bio, baby. Doth. Woo! Um, talking tours. Our Thor went on tour. Yes. Yes. How's it gone? Is he still uh, on it now? No, he, he did a... 
Bristol date, Manchester date, and then London date. That's so fun. Yeah, and um, it must be so nice having like an actual like talent like that, and then seeing people like it. Yeah, no, it is quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Um, what was that little giggle? Uh, <laughs> no, so he no, he smashed it. He and what is I I I was very wholesome. I was at the London date, mm-hmm. um, and. It's just so cool to see him, like, doing exactly what he wants to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you can tell he loves it. And ever since then, he's been, like, on cloud nine. Like, he absolutely loves it. It must be so wild because I remember speaking to him. Like, he he kind of had these, like, talents but never really shared it Mm. for ages. And then to share it and it be so well-received and then to have people in person appreciating it. It's so cool. I wish I could sing. Yeah, he's he's always well. You gave it a good go, and you made it onto BBC Radio. Did I? Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, oh. But no, yeah, so Matt Arthur's always wanted to be a singer, which is quite yeah. cute. And he. Uh, Me too. I just very, can't sing. <laughs> he's very good. Yeah, he is. He's so. And if you speak good. to him, he's uh, uh, like about this time last year. Uh, obviously, had the success of Tiny Room like the year before. Mm-hmm. I think it was. Or maybe even bef- year before that, but then since then his songs didn't seem to get the similar amount of traction. Mm. But then he's people have started like I think Bride in the Gloom did really well. Mm-hmm. You're not a god, I think, did really well as well. You're not a god. Yeah, that one. Um, and since then people have like gone back and everything's boosted and he's. Just... The thing is, it's so unpredictable. It's like yeah. one song can just do something and then everyone's involved in you. Or oh, one yeah. song can do something and people only focus on that song and they don't look at the other stuff. It's like, you have no idea, but he's doing a really good job of, of developing like a core audience. That, yeah. Like the fact that he could even do a tour speaks volumes, especially the music industry is so difficult nowadays. Mm. So the fact he could even do a three shell tour is crazy. Also, to the to the bastards... Oh, the, um, so these girls, I think, made a TikTok about or posted something somewhere about how they were waiting seven hours in line prior to an Arthur, right. to Arthur's show, Why? which is slightly excessive. Yeah. Um, but then he he got loads of comments. There were loads of comments that being like, "Imagine waiting this long to see Arthur Hill." Which, Aww. by the way, it's not Arthur's fault. Those girls are crazy. Yeah. Right? <laughs> just <laughs> just because he's got some fans are a bit batshit, don't blame that on him. He's yeah. a great singer, yeah. and the girls uh, maybe Insane. prioritize things a little bit better in the future. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I respect the, um, the enthusiasm. Yeah. That's nice. Unnecessary. Yeah. But nice. <laughs> Seven hours in, in advance. It's mm. kind of crazy. It's like but, the people that uh, like camp. Wait, speaking of like authors. Yeah. I thought of this idea whilst we whilst I had a wee before, whilst we were having a wee together, whilst you held my winky while I had a wee. What? Anyway. Um, can we prank call people? Have we ever done this on the podcast? Uh, I don't think so, no. I don't think so. We just do it by ourselves at the back of the bus. <laughs> <laughs> can... Um, I prank call Arthur TV. I don't know if he'll pick up. Right, so I'm prank calling Arthur TV, pretending to be a fan that is outside where he lives. Hello. Hi, is this Arthur? Hi, yes, who's this? Hi, um, my name is Jamie. Um, this is, this is really weird. Um, basically, yeah. Um, it, wait, can I just check? It's Arthur TV, right? Yeah, um, all right. Please don't think I'm a weirdo. This is really, really weird. Um, so basically, I'm outside. How did you get this number? Um, I, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. I'm, I'm outside right now, and, <laughs> and I've, and I've been looking um, at your Instagram stories, and I, I just want to, I just really want to meet you, and I don't, I don't mean to be weird. Sorry, I'm getting emotional. I don't want to be weird. Um. But I just, I just really, really like you a lot, and um, yeah. Are you, are you in? I, I mean, that is quite weird. Oh, but don't say that. <laughs> are you in? I, I, I am, but I'm, I'm, I, I'm not really sure. I mean, like. I'm not assuming you're here to kill me or anything. No, um, I would. I wouldn't I do that. I have no problem with saying hi, um, but I feel like coming to my house 
is probably not some the kind of behavior I should enable. Well, I don't um, have to come to your house. I'm just outside. Outside my house, pal. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, mate. You're gonna have to go. If, if, um, if you see me, I can just I'm wait here. Work. If if I just, I'll just wait here, and if I see you, then it is like it's it's fine. It's just casual. Voice is just completely gone now. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't leave home that often. I can't lie to you. <laughs> oh, okay, right. Well, I'll just wait here, and um, I'll I'll I, see I, you around. Honestly, I'd, I'd really rather you not. I, I, I do think you should probably head home. Okay, I'll I'll have a think about it. Okay. Right. Bye. Right. Just Love you. Here. I mean, bye. <laughs> what the fuck? He was so polite. I would he, be like, fuck off. I guarantee I'm getting a message because he's going to. I I think he knows it's you. Oh really? I, Do you think? I reckon so. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, he, he did. I. Do you think? Because of the way he's dealt with it, <laughs> but he. <laughs> oh, I think it was the the pal for me. The pal. pal yeah. He's been saying that so often to me and Chris recently. I, was I, I think he's. <laughs> I think he's clocked on because also you completely forgot you were doing a voice. Yeah, I did. I stopped. I stopped doing a voice. I got carried away by the fact that he actually believed it, and then I was like, "Oh, this it was is weird. when you said where he lived." Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my god right wait should you call him and then see uh, nah. or should we just leave it for a bit it's okay okay right um okay right shall we do our actual job george uh, we have a few things to attend to i had written down oh um how's the fitness journey going that's rude what why is that's it rude, rude. That's so rude. that answers my question because <laughs> if it was going well you would have immediately hopped on and been like so, great so what's happened so since the week that i you did hired it? a personal assistant who has taken up so much of my time she's literally swept me off my feet and she Maisie, completely how much time does he have to go she to the completely gym? threw me off my gym schedule <laughs> she completely threw me off my gym schedule I was, I was literally begging to go to the gym and she was like no stay at home eat these sweets eat these chocolate so it is what it is that's what i've been doing um no i went to the gym yesterday i fell off last week because i was like doing loads of stuff with Maisie, and then my friend came to visit me at the weekend um so i only went once last week but i mean it's only tuesday right now and i've already been once and True. i'm going again tonight so nice the week yeah, but I did. Oh, yeah, I, we the were first film, week we I filmed, went every We filmed day. last week, and you did said we? that you you went yesterday because yeah. it's only the day into the week, and that you're going to go tonight. Did I? You were like, oh, yeah, it's, it's Monday, and I've been today, so I've already done every day this week. Is that what I said? Yes. <laughs> well, it still stands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I've just been a busy bee. I mean, I'm, we're traveling this week, aren't we? To Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> so I might not be able to fit it in there. Well, so one journey <laughs> you could go before how. or after it. I don't know how we're going to fit it in this week. We'll have to work. We'll work it out. Have you been on runs? On the treadmill. I can't run in public. The last time Why that not? I ran in public was when my testicles oh, st- I can't run in public. Not these days. No. Unless anybody's got a Gymshark balaclava I can wear. <laughs> no, that's when my testicles got twisted the last time I ran in public. I'm well, not doing that again. Use a jock strap. I did. I literally got given one from the... Um, hospital use it then no it was gross well then what what are these you are coming up with problems that aren't problems <laughs> yeah that doesn't work this time <laughs> <laughs> not around here buddy yeah we're trying to get your life back on track <laughs> no um, For too long max <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i have fallen off but i'm getting back on so let's see if it and that. we just have your word to take for that do we yeah same thing else was said last week no, wait, but I don't remember saying that last week, so I'm going to ignore it. But yeah, no, long story short, it's going good. Need to get more back into it. Nice. Yeah. My How fitness journey is going great, by the is way. It? Yeah. My fitness pal. I um, had a little rest day yesterday because yeah. my body is aching. Mm. But going to go tonight. Um, mm. Not yet done. Not yet. Not oh, yet. Not yet. Did I say on the podcast last week what I was doing? Um, I think so. I think briefly, but I don't think I actually... No, no I think I, I think said I was said planning doing on doing something. like multiple Tough Mudders or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I since then found out that there's a thing called a Tough Mudder Infinity, oh. which means that uh, in order to complete a 
well, there's a Tough Mudder and there's a Tough Mudder 5K. The Tough Mudder is normally 15K. No, uh, Tough Mudder 5K is, lo and behold, 5K. Mm. A Tough Mudder Infinity to complete A normal one, Tough Mudder is 15K. Yeah. Then to complete a, a Tough Mudder... Long. In, nah, expect, like, that's how you enter. You have to give them 15K. What? No, but, like, <laughs> but isn't it all, like, an obstacle course? Yeah. A 15-kilometre-long obstacle course? No, running between the obstacles. Yeah, it's oh, not okay. just, like, monkey bars I was going to say, kilometers. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so the Tough Mudder Infinity is, uh, to complete it, you have to do 20 kilometres. So oh. 15 kilometre around the regular one, and then uh, the 5K one is the smallest thing you can do. But oh. it opens at half seven, and last lap can be started at half three so from that time and then obviously one lap after half three you can keep running around um as many times as you like you can stop for breaks go have lunch come back and stuff um but then you can just accumulate as many um, laps of whatever mm. as you can so my aim is to do a marathon's length worth how long is a marathon uh in kilometers yeah i don't know i think it's 26 point two or something miles um so is is kilometers more or less than that less? Uh, in terms of kilometers you're the way you're thinking is more so there's the, the like number is more higher kilometers yeah in it, yeah so 42.195 kilometers oh fuck that why are you <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i'm not even joking like oh i couldn't i there's not even one part of that that I would could ever do ever in my life I don't think there's nothing in me you can do a 5k Tough Mudder there's literally not a single part of me unless I was like being filmed and it was like for laughs at how bad I'm gonna be mm. that I would ever do that well if you wanted to come along and hop in for a lap then oh my god where is it when do you like most likely near Glasgow <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Which is, it's really annoying because the last, uh, the London one, because mm. the Tough Mudder Infinities only run, like I think, like five times a year or something. Mm. The London one is the 18th of May, which is obviously our last tour date. Um, uh, so you've got to go, so it's after be, our tour, you're going to do that? It's in June. Is oh, the, okay. Yeah, so. So you'll have like two weeks to train. Yeah. But I mean, I'm, I'm training now. I'm going to just try yeah. and... I'm documenting it, filming different things, going to yeah, make a YouTube you video that. at the end. Ah, uh, right, okay. Um, Jeez, Louise. But yeah, at the moment, I've not done anything specific, so I'm planning on going climbing with, like, Chris or something, because he said he wants to go climbing. Uh, that helps. That's actually good training. Might do that mm. a few times. Um, and yeah, get the grip strength up. I wish I had that, that quality where I wanted to do sport as a fun activity <laughs> and not just pain. <laughs> <laughs> like I wish that I would wake up and go I want to go and play that sport <laughs> <laughs> like I want to go and do that sport I want to I want to I want to I want to set myself that goal of doing that physical activity yeah that is just not me mm. I literally have like goals for my Pokemon team Mm, that's the only gym you're going in. One hundred percent. I am like, oh, can I complete the entire story of GTA in like two nights? Yeah, that's more my speed. Okay. Um, what about this fitness journey you're going on? Are you hating every moment of it, or are you enjoying? No, it? I enjoy it. Um, I enjoy it whilst I'm running on the treadmill. Mm. I enjoy charging my body full of pre-workout. Right. Feeling like I've literally just I dropped feel like you're ecstasy. Treating this like a like a dirty rave or something. I think gym. I am because I'm not even joking. <laughs> I am so lit at the gym. <laughs> I'm literally like my I may Maisie have my pre-work doesn't my pre-workout look like meth? I don't, I'm not sure it is. No, <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's literally. So all my pre-workout, this is from like it's like this bag is like two years old mm. and it's all congealed and turned into blocks. Yeah, so it's usually a powder. Good news. So it's like literally like nuggets of pre-workout. Yeah, no, you're doing, you are doing meth now. So I put them into the water and then you have to leave it for like 10 minutes to actually dissolve. And then when I tell you, I am Maisie on the way. I dropped Maisie. We did it. You dropped her. I dropped her. <laughs> this is lit. No, we went, 
I drove her to the tube station. Mm. And I said to her, I was like, just put some music on that makes me want to move. So she put the Mario Kart soundtrack on. <laughs> <laughs> and I was giving it do, 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 whilst I was driving. And when I tell you, I could have mowed down all of the people on the street. Like I was having the best time. Get to the gym. That, was, that would be part of your best time. Well, like, I mean, because I was like living my life so intensely. Right. I then get to the gym, ran for 40 minutes like sprinting for 40 minutes listening to well, you, you only did a 2k listening to <laughs> listening to glee yeah no i genuinely um and then oh my god and then i was like walking for like the last 10 minutes because i couldn't run anymore because my knees were like buckling and there was this like 70 year old woman next to me and she was going faster than me and <laughs> like killing it and i was just mortified but oh i'm lit like i'm literally having the best time at the gym but if I have too much of that pre-workout, then I start to come down whilst I'm like there. <laughs> you shouldn't have a come down from like, your pre-workout. I, swear to God, I don't know what pre-workout I'm having, but it gives me a come down within like an hour. Is your, does your pre-workout come in little baggies? I think so. And you have to get it delivered from a, <laughs> yes. from a random man yeah. in a hood down Cash the street. In hand. No, literally like, I don't know what it is that I'm having, but it's it's It doesn't wild. sound safe. But I, also, I don't know what it is. so you say that makes you enjoy the gym. Are you? No, it doesn't make me you, enjoy it. it. It forces me into actually moving you, my body because I can't stay still. What is? What's the part you you don't like about the gym? Um, uh, I just can't be asked. The bit that I don't like is the pain. Is the, that well, it hurts. I don't really have that much pain because I need to force myself more to do things. That's why I like going with someone. So I would yeah. go with Andrew, and because he's so bad at it, I would find myself putting more effort in to look better than him. So I like that, but oh, I don't know. I'm just, it's its getting myself psyched up to like do all the stuff. Yeah, but so say you have been going on runs for two, three months. Mm -hmm. Your fitness is way higher than it's ever been mm. before in your life. You've lost a little bit of weight. You're looking a little bit trim. Mm -hmm. Now when you go on your runs, it doesn't hurt. And actually you're finding out it is you just you just run along just taking in the sights you, you're mm. barely even realizing you're running at this point would yeah. you still then dislike it do you think no i'd like it <laughs> <laughs> i like it now i like going now yeah i am just not i don't know what it is because i have all the intention <laughs> to go it to what to go it <laughs> <laughs> to do it and I do do it, and then it just doesn't happen that much. I don't know. I really don't have an answer for you right now, but I will mm. be working on it today. I, I think they say, well, there's this whole gym shot thing is this should be like a sponsored segment. Mm. They say, 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 mm. No, they say it, say it. <laughs> 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 no, they say it, say it, say it. <laughs> they say it takes 66. That's why it was 66 hard. 66 days to make a habit. Yeah. Yeah. So... That's I did. I, I did seven days. Yeah, no, that's not quite sixty-six. <laughs> sixty-six but, is so long. Yeah, but once you've done it, Cal will uh, be a testament to this. Oh, I get it. All right, look at him nodding his no, head. Then it, then it just, then it becomes habit, and it's like, but it's not habit in terms of being like, right, I'm on the run. Oh, I'm hitting the run. It's like, it's like, you, oh, I can't off, do my day unless I've done that. Yeah, but it's not. It's, it's that. It that makes it seem like it's a negative relationship with it. Does it? Yeah, because it's like. Oh, this has to be done. Otherwise, I, I just feel shit. Right, okay. Like it's just like that is just part of just your part life. Part of now. your routine, and you're wanting it to maintain part of your life because it's it's both <laughs> mental and physically beneficial. Yes. Oh my god. Do you know what? Because Go. you've done it in the past. You, I have. You know I have, and I loved it. You and know I you're loved capable it. of it. Yeah. Talk, the and thing is, how often do you do you <laughs> do you say to me like, <laughs> how often do you say to me, George? I was, I. <laughs> I used to be so chiselled and good looking and I wish no. I wish I wasn't so podgy and built like a sack of tatties. No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you ever wait rub your eyes and it feels so good? Like I just got transported. I have like little have I? Oh my god, this feels amazing. Max, not changing the subject that easily. Sorry, okay, I'm a fat bastard. I get it. 
Oh. No, I'm, I know it, the viewers probably be like, "Oh, George, why are you putting this?" I'm not putting the pressure. He wants to do it himself. I want the pressure. Like, he genuinely wants to I go want out and it. do it. And I know that <laughs> if that if this week you don't go out and I want it. Go back, <laughs> stop rubbing your eyes. Oh, I can't. <laughs> and I know for a fact if this week you don't get back into the swing of things, you won't again for another month or two. George, I'm <laughs> fucked. George, the reason I can't go to the gym is because I keep doing meth before I go to the gym. <laughs> so, <laughs> guys, I can't even see right now. My, My eyes thing. have gone. I feel like I'm in heaven. <laughs> Everything's white. <laughs> as a little good point. No, that's oh my God, bad. Everything is literally all oh, right. Whatever. No, I um. Yeah, you you've got agreed. This. I, I agreed. believe you know in you. Thank you. I've got it. Because every say, day, say three years ago, right? You'd be like, "Damn, I'm chiseled. I'm looking hot and I'm fine. gorgeous. I'm, I'm but skinny." That person would say, "Post two, three TikToks every day." For the next like two or three, no, that sounds like too much of a commitment. Now imagine you go a day without posting a TikTok. Does it play on your mind? It does. It does. I, Max Belegde, <laughs> solemnly swear to go to the gym every day without meth for sixty-six days in a row. Do you, I say actually do it. Right, what day is it? Work out. Don't have to go to the gym. You can just go on a run one day. Can I go every day this week? Let's yeah. see. It's Maisie's fault, it's but whatever. Not. You can't blame her. <laughs> it's Maisie's fault. Right, I am going on holiday. Doesn't matter. In March. I'm going to run. Doesn't matter. Go and run. I'm going on I was, a. I was just away. I ran. I'm day. going to a, a ski festival. Ski, are, you, skiing are, you, are, you, are you? Skiing counts. Skiing counts. Skiing counts. Skiing counts. I'm not skiing, but they don't have to know. I'm going to a festival, guys. I'm not going for a run. You can make sure that I do star jumps in the apartment. That would be a good series on your on your account because for for ages you've said you're going to be a fitness legend. If you actually document it, no, I've 66 tried this. days in a row. I've tried this in the past. Yeah, and what I don't happened? document it. <laughs> I, exactly, I document it for like three days and then I just don't go. And then I go, oh, that's embarrassing. I just won't post it again. <laughs> Oh, I've said this before. I I literally said this to Gymshark, I think. I was like, if Gymshark did, did a brand deal with me where like I had to do it, then I would do it. Oh, oh so so yeah. So oh, what I you're saying is if you got paid and it was your job One to go percent. and work out, then maybe you would. No, I definitely would. That's a crazy statement. Well, hot take here from Max Belegdi. <laughs> if I got paid to do it, then yeah. <laughs> right, let's think. So All right, wait, then, tomorrow. Actually, instead, of, instead of paying, we can put a bet on. <gasps> yes. Yes. 66 yeah. days is so much though no, we can put it, a bet on i'm going on holiday i can't i'm going away next week as well i have so, no time no, you can do it. if honestly 20 minute run 15 minutes you just need to do something okay. if you document even story counts but i want to believe that you've actually done it you've not just okay. stepped out your door and gone oh guys tough run <laughs> tough I, mudder <laughs> i want to see that you've done it for the next 66 days i will give you It's got to be a thing that I want, or a million pounds, <laughs> or both. Um, um, hmm. A kiss on the lips. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, uh, money, what I know, won't be an incentive to no. you because I can't put up the amount that a brand would. So, um, what could you give me? Hmm. What is something that you require in your life? Your firstborn's hand in marriage. <laughs> <laughs> um, something crock, <laughs> like something crock based, or a trip somewhere. I could, I That's could it. take you to Disneyland. We film it for the podcast. Us two go on a trip to Disneyland Paris together. We film it. We film it as a vlog. <laughs> and then in Disneyland Paris, I will give you five hundred pounds of my money to spend in the Disney store. And you have to, as part of this, you have to. We'll get someone to film us, and you have to um, pretend that you're proposing to me in front of the castle, in front of everyone. Yes, yes, yes. That's. Yes. <laughs> but that's yes. that's not an incentive for me. Now yeah, I don't want you to no, do it. These are my these are my things. 
These Disney are my thing. deals. I've give, I'm giving you a trip to Disneyland with £500 spend, pound spending money. Yeah, as you should. And you're going... Please, 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 please. And the proposal. Please, that's that's so my final good. offer. <laughs> I don't want to be proposed to. <laughs> no, that's good. You have to hate it. Hate the yeah. result because that's going to make him want to do it. Yeah. You that, have to propose to me. There's the fact that... The driving force here is not Disneyland. It's it's <laughs> it's not it's not me. Getting, and then you have to legally marry five hundred pounds. It's the fact that you know I would hate if you get down on one knee and propose to me. You're proposing to me. I'm not proposing to you. Yeah, you are. Please, 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 please. We can work out who proposes to who, but that has to be part of it. Also, the content Okay, to be fair, I know you're not going to do sixty six days. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I'm getting married. <laughs> <laughs> so, Max, 66 days in a row actually exercising okay. and you document every single okay, one. Okay, 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 okay. Max, you better fucking do this. From today. Today is the 27th well, of February. Start tomorrow, to be fair. No, I'm starting today. <laughs> from now on. <laughs> I'm starting today. Okay. Right. So, from today, Jim Shark, if you see this, get involved in it. Yeah, Jim Shark. Stuff my way as well, please. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm literally doing this. I'm literally doing it. Okay, deal. This is exciting. Right, I hate I'm going that I've to now just tonight. sorted you like a TikTok series as well. That's yeah, just gonna I'm get going you to the gym views. tonight. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to the gym. I'm going to the gym tonight. Right. What was that? Please do this. Please oh, I'm doing it. By the way, oh, that's enough incentive. Yeah. Oh, that's enough incentive. Audience, get on his back about this because if yeah. it, if this falls through, you aren't getting a Disneyland Paris vlog, and yeah. you aren't seeing him propose to me or me propose to him. Okay, right. Attack me in the comments, but I actually need support from them because I need I need a constant to constantly be told. So I'm going to LA next week. When will I have time? I guess I can just fit it you in, can't can I? You can. You can. That's Trust the me, you can. half an hour. Half an hour run. Half an hour run. We'll we'll make sure you'll have to keep me on track there. <laughs> yeah, I can literally just like do an indoor workout at the George, thing. Yeah. Yeah, minimum twenty minute workout. Okay. No. Because you, you know, have you you can download apps that do seven minute workouts. We do like press oh, ups. Oh, we'll do that seven stuff. minute workout. But. But you have seven to do minute workout on the ski trip. But you have, no, you counts. have to do you have to do multiple seven minute ones. Oh, fine. It has to be twenty minutes of exercise. Okay, I can just go skiing, surely. Wait, yeah, that works. I might just go skiing then. Right, I'll just do that then. No, but we I can do if I if, I'd rather go skiing on a skiing holiday than do a seven minute workout four times. Yeah. It's worth yeah, I don't care. Okay, so we've decided that we're gonna call. I'm gonna call Arthur back, <laughs> uh, and just slowly see how long it takes for him to realise that it was a prank call. How long? I, th I think. Say it, call him and be like. No, I'm gonna I've say. I've just been outside where you are, and there was this person. No, I'll just be like, I've just had someone call me saying that they're at the bottom of my building. Yeah, 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 yeah. See how long it takes for him to. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, mate. Hello, Poppet. How are we? Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad. A bit of a weird one. Have you? I I've had. I, I was just. I I obviously didn't know if it was just a me, Chris, and Arthur thing, or if it was happening elsewhere. Um, but we. I had someone. I had someone um call me like a minute ago. And I they. I knew exactly what you were just about to say. What? For, it was happening to me about an hour ago. What happened? Wait, when was it? What, it, mine? It like a like couple a, minutes ago. Was it like a super fan? But they, yeah, they said that they, like, travelled down from Manchester or something. That's so weird. Yeah, I... So I had the exact same thing. I think it was, I think it was a leak from the, um, football group chat. What football, what? You know, oh, you're not in it, actually. <laughs> you know the, the charity football match thing we're doing? Everyone's Jack numbers Jack. got leaked. Like, me and Batch and stuff, we were all getting, like, FaceTime calls at, like, 3 a.m. on Saturday. Oh. And I, we're getting added to stupid group chats, and evidently someone's... Oh, just, what, found out our addresses? Well, I mean, the person on the phone said they found out from my fucking Instagram story. Ah, oh, what the your views that you've been posting? 
yeah, I mean, not hugely surprising. I didn't. I, I, I expected people would know roughly what building I was in, but I wasn't expecting them to have my phone number and ring me and be like, I'm outside. Yeah, so we, we had this person ring, and obviously we've got the little, like, camera at the uh, thing, so we went down and all had, like, a photo of them, but, like, it was really weird. Fuck off. But did you... Did you not do that? They said that they... No, I was like... What? I mean, I, I was like... I, I was thinking, like, oh, like, obviously I don't mind, but, like, I was, like, in, in, encouraging that type of stuff. I mean, so, like, we're all, like... We're all blokes and can, you know, handle ourselves and stuff, but, like, if that person thinks it's okay and then starts doing that to, like, girls and people who are, oh. I don't know, a bit more, like... Like me. Vulnerable and stuff, I guess. I was okay. like... Probably, I, I even said to him on the phone, I was like, not really the sort of behaviour. Yeah, no, that's... Be encouraging. That's true. what happens now if, you, if they post that and go, oh, I found out where George, Arthur and Chris live. They're, they're this apartment. I'm gonna, like, you can ring them and go get free hugs. <laughs> <laughs> a, a hug vending machine. <laughs> yeah, right. no, but we, we just saw like, the big sign that they were holding up from um, down from our window. So we just thought that... You know, they put the they effort They were holding in. up a big sign. <laughs> yeah, like, sort of, I don't know. Saying what? I, no, it, it, like, like, really good production quality on it. Like, it looked like it had sort of been printed <laughs> off. <laughs> they made a sign. Yeah, like, this QR codes, weird. like, email. It was, it was... <laughs> I love a production value on it. threatened me with this kind of stuff before, like... There was this guy that used to like swipe on every Instagram story, and then when I posted a view, he go he, he had this stuff like I'm gonna find you one day, I'm gonna find you, and replied to my story of the view being like, and I know exactly where to look, and I was like, this is fucking weird. But the person that actually maybe because I was like, oh, this this can't be one of the like um, people I'm guessing from the football chat like being weird because they. Were, yeah. It just what? didn't sound like a football enjoyer. What did they... <laughs> what do you mean by that? Um, well, I mean, you met them, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you mean they didn't sound like a football enjoyer? <laughs> well, what do they look like? Um... Sort of like quite pasty. Um, big oh, they were very big. Um, really? I, I was assuming the exact opposite. What, what, I what, what, like, I, what, ex what sort of thing did you picture in your head when you heard the voice? Just it was, it was like a, a, a like I don't know, like a soft, nervy, effeminate boy. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought they were like small and a bit like, oh, hello. Like, you know the way you mock my voice? <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you not find me? I'm like a really soft voice. Anyway, I, I, I yeah. I, I, oh. just, I, thought, I thought it was going to be a, a small, sort of like, frail, feminine -y. I don't know. So, I, I, I couldn't really figure it out. Oh. But, it, I mean, I was just, I was, it was more that I was just in shock because I was like, this is just very weird. Like they were like I'm outside your apartment. How do you... I was like, yeah. What what number? I mean, there's obviously like a billion apartments, so they're obviously not going to like come to the actual door. And then I was like, I was like, I can't lie, mate. Like you should probably go away. Like this isn't, you know, this isn't really acceptable. Like this is just a bit weird. Yeah, um, but then why then did you like, why did you call them pal though? That's what I don't understand. Why did I call them what? Pal. Why did I call them pal? Yeah. Oh, I, I guess I'm guessing they obviously saw you after they saw me. Um, it was just, I mean, just the way I said the because I wanted to just be a bit like, I don't know, firm, and I was like, "Listen, pal, this isn't good enough." You know? What did you say it like that? Something like that. I just was like, "Come on, now, pal!" Like I wanted to like be firm. <laughs> You know the way like a, a teacher does when you've done wrong and it's sort of like a friendly but firm thing. I was like, come on, mate. <laughs> you know? oh Do you God. not think the voice... <laughs> when I heard their voice, I thought it sounded like someone that I knew. Uh, did, well, you, did you not get that? 
No, I don't really. No, it was just it was a bit. Like it sort of yeah, it's know. like sort of sound like some sort of scrawny effeminate Scrawn, like I'll take scrawny guy from up north. You know, like... Was it Max? Is this a stupid, useless hotline thing? It's not even Monday! Oh, God! It was... I can hand you over to him now if you want. Hi. Hi, um... I'm outside. Um... <laughs> I was, I was like, I was like, um, um, I, I love you. I mean, bye. <laughs> that was so good. You were so polite. You were so nice. I was shocked. I've never had anything like that before. <laughs> <laughs> That was so funny. We were literally dying. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well. Well. Do you know what, pal? We did really well. So. I'll send you. I'll send you some messages that I send my friend in the screen. Yes, please. Please do. Please do. There you go. <laughs> Not a problem, mate. Thanks very much for that. Bye, pal. <laughs> so, to recap, if I exercise every day for 66 days, George is going to take me to Disneyland, propose to me under the castle, and we're going to vlog it for the podcast account. Yes. This is incredible. Why are you shaking again? Because I want to, for dramatic effect. Right. Insert dramatic you noise. You haven't touched your lip, have you? No. <laughs> right okay well if you enjoyed this episode what can they do George uh, you can go fuck yourself you can get so tickets to our tour like we you said can do. Um, if you enjoyed the episode make sure you like and subscribe if you are watching ring that notification bell so you're notified every time we upload if you are listening give us a five star rating download us so you can listen to us on the go um, also enter my talent show hashtag ah, George yes. Clarkey talent show mm -hmm. also get some tickets uselesshotline.com and if you would like to send in a dilemma we know that we didn't do any this week but we got very carried away and we will be doing them next time send them into the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com that is the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com and until next time you won't even recognize me because I'll be so skinny I think the cold sore will be a tail bye <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>